You knew tonight we are spilling the secrets, ingredients hidden in your favorite bottle of wine. These are things that you will not find on the label, and here's WBZ's Catherine Hauser with our story. It's a fairly complex science in order to make great wine. Pressing grapes is only the first step in the long winemaking process. Here I have Cabernet Franc uh, from Rhode Island. Frank Zoll runs a small one-man operation making wine in Shrewsbury. But most of the wine we buy is now being mass-produced. The perception is you're drinking fermented grape juice, and the reality is that's not exactly the truth. Chris Null investigated how wine is being made and found upwards of 200 different compounds can be added to wine. When you drink a glass of wine, especially a, a relatively inexpensive wine, you're drinking a huge array of compounds and chemicals that uh, you have no idea are present in the wine. Sugar, water, yeast are the classic components, but some mass-produced wines also include mega purple to enhance the color, tannins and oak extract to improve the flavor, gelatin for texture, and the eyebrow-raising additive velocorin, designed to kill any of the bacteria in the wine. That sounds maybe good, but uh, it's so dangerous that it has to be handled with special training. They're all perfectly legal, but don't need to be listed on the label. Null would like to see that changed. Well, I want to know what I'm eating, and I definitely want to know what I'm drinking, too. Labels should be required on wine the same way they are with any food stuff. We're fairly well regulated, to tell you the truth. Frank says some additives like sulfites are needed to make sure the wine will last. You can't really sell five-year-old vinegar the same way you can sell five-year-old wine. There are some winemakers that do list their ingredients on their website, but that kind of transparency isn't required, so you can skip most of those additives by going organic. I'm Katherine Hauser, WBZ News.